Electricity would also be very simple. You just go in here and it's electrical items. Nothing hard. Plumbing, plumbing items. Okay? Now, what I want to talk to you about is we're going to be going over the procedures. What's the next thing? What's the next thing? How do I, how do I expand the scope of the claim? How do I deal with the with with the uh, with the duster and different things that are above and beyond what we've talked about? And then we're going to start blending you in and teaching you how to then work yourself in for SimSol. Um, it's very important that you understand SimSol if you're going to be using it. Um, and we have some great tools to teach you how to do that. And we'll be uh, talking a little bit about the scope also. Uh, I'm going to be going over a little bit about the uh, scope and policy, uh, only for the uh, effect. Uh, if you really want to learn more about scope and policy, uh, actually go into the Getting Your House in Order book, and in the back, the DVD dramatically help you understanding scope and policy a little bit more if you're a contractor. Okay. Hello again. Uh, I want to finalize and give you a quick understanding of when you're going to be uh, going through all this information and there's more than just these DVDs that we've been going through. How to kind of put this all together for yourself and then because the, you need to go over this first one time and then you need to keep going over this and then building on your knowledge. Again, let's quick recap real quickly. The type of tools that you needed, a digital camera. You want to be able to record things audibly so, so it can actually can speed up your process as far as going in and saying, you know, five switch plates, or, you know, three switch plates, four, you know, outlets plates, what kind of molding it was, what kind of wallpaper it was. You can start to say different things in a particular room and, and give yourself directions on what you need to do, even, even down to the point where you can actually put the measurements and everything else. To record it, there's two different ways. You can use the old-fashioned way, which is the old tapes. And um, uh, personally, this is not the way I'd like to go, but some people, this is what they do. Uh, the second thing is actually, this is a digital one. Now, this one actually is a digital recorder. Uh, you can actually have it. They do come with cases as well. <clears throat> this will actually hold 36 hours. And it actually, uh, they come so that you can then also download that right into your PC. So, uh, and then you can also then uh, utilize that and send, you know, like you would remind the other adjuster that he said certain things. Well, you, you know, you asked if you could record it up front and then you basically have that on there so that you're now legally not uh, uh, doing anything wrong. And then you can then send him an actual uh, MP3 file and let him know that, you know, he said these certain things just to remind him. Because remember, one of the rules is once they give it to you, they can't take it back, especially if it's on tape. Uh, now. Our number one tool, our tape measure, uh, you can you know, you definitely get at least a 25, a 25 uh, footer. They also come bigger, like I've shown you, up to 33, and even bigger than that. Uh, another thing that also was a big, very helpful thing is a one of those longer tapes, the, the kind that you actually reel up like this. Uh, that's good in case, you, in case you need to have more of a, um, uh, you're doing more out things, things in, on the outside or the grounds. Um, <clears throat> or sometimes if you've got a very big house and you've got somebody else with you and you're trying to do siding, you know, 25 feet can be a little bit, a little bit short and that might be helpful. Sometimes some people actually use those little wheeling measuring type things, you can get those as well. Chem sponge, anytime you're going to be dealing with soot, anytime you're going to be dealing with, uh, with smoke, this is a very good tool to have. Uh, uh, the other thing that you need to know is that um, you should be taking the time while you're in a house just to give a couple of swipes. We say, you know, after a while it gets so dirty. What you can do is you actually can cut these. I've actually seen professionals where they cut them with razor blades. Uh, you know, they put them down, they, they cut them in, uh, in uh, uh, the uh, guillotine type of cutters that you use for uh, in your in your office. Uh, I've seen them do a lot of ways of cleaning them back up. They're really cheap. Uh, we're going to be trying to make these available for you on the website so that you'll be actually be able to do that. Uh, another tool for you is going to be an icon that we're going to be sending you. Um, so that you can learn more about just the estimating section. Uh, that'll be going on your computer. It looks like a little miniature uh, um, uh, uh, speaker, and you just click on it. And then if you want to know more about estimating, we'll be constantly sending you the uh, also the um, newsletter that comes out. Every month, we're going to be trying to give you more things on estimating so you know what's coming out when we see new products and services, uh, new different types of things that are coming out that you're going to be looking at. We'll be letting you know about them. Now, um, should use the sheets, uh, especially if you're going to be a contractor and you're going to be setting these things up and you're not going to be buying the SimSol. Uh, this is very important. 
takes time to go through it. Um, each different sheet uh, it really is pretty self-explanatory. But if you need any help, don't hesitate to give me an email. Um, remember, SimSol has every little thing that you need. If you're going to be using SimSol, it's very simple. You, uh, you will, we have the screen cams, the little miniature movies that actually that you, you play on your computer that actually talk to you and teach you how to do SimSol. Um, just to talk about that for one second. SimSol, this will give you a quick understanding on how to get started with it and get, get yourself up to speed with it. So go through this. Then uh, and inside, inside um, uh, we may be putting inside this the CD that will have all the different, different scans in it. Uh, the screen, screen cams is what they call them. Um, we've already gone through this. You can go through this with the audio tapes we have. So uh, if you're stuck someplace and you've just got to, you want to learn, you want to do something, you can pop the headset on, you can quick go through the pages, see what I'm saying, and still be reading. You can be out, uh, outside enjoying the day, whatever, and this way you can still be learning and constantly. You don't always have to have a TV in front of you. I would take the time to read all of this. Every piece that's in here, look through it, study it. We're going to be sending you consistently new and more stuff. Now, um, I would put that into a ring binder and start adding to it. Um, and then once we get to a certain point, we'll then probably redo the whole book all over again and give you even more and maybe recapitalize it all into a whole other book for you. Um, the Complete Mentor Understanding Framing. Like I said, this is not the book you just want to kind of just read all the way through and just say, you know, now I know how to build a house. You want to kind of go through this in sections and understand it. Especially about bloom framing, you'll learn more about that. Uh, certain framing in certain areas, you'll learn how to totally frame a house. Um, so this is very good. This is a very detailed book, by the way. Uh, some great graphics in here. Practically almost every page has some kind of graphic on it. And it uh, teaches you what you need to know. So uh, and if you're trying to impress... Another adjuster, this is a great book to do that. Now, with that in mind, let's quick go over some of the uh, uh, different types of um, concerns we have when it comes to the, the different rules. Remember, we're looking for continuance. Uh, remember, we have pairs, uh, uh, pairs and sets. That can also be not just furniture, but that can also be if you have a wallpaper over here and, it's, and it matches another section, different type of wallpaper over here, then they're all connected. If I get the one, then I have to get the other one because you're within sight of each other. And so pairs and sets works also besides furniture um, and, and dishes and things along those lines. It works for practically everything. There's pairs and sets in a lot of different things. So utilize that, that one. Um, remember that the insurance adjuster, his main thing is to how to minimize. He's going to throw at you over and over again. Uh, the client is only deserving what they had before. And you have to constantly remind him and, uh, uh, and nothing more, nothing less, uh, because he is going to try to minimize it every place he can. And therefore, they, the client must be indemnified. You need to bang that, 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 that through to them. Um, in continuance, remember, uh, it could be one particular material and it could go on and on. I did promise you that I would tell you about one particular situation where I actually got continuance through a door. It was a, it was actually a, um, a wooden door, a wooden floor that actually came up to the door and it was, the wood was facing just like my fingers going into here and then it just kept on going through the door. Then the door was glass, so you could see from one side to the other, so therefore they couldn't say, well, you can't see it from here to there, so therefore it's, it's a break point. And there was no way that they were going to cut that floor right at the door and put a, 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 another piece in there to actually um, break that beautiful floor that had, had been continuous all the way through. That would have been a really de degrading the home and that would be a major no-no. So you can argue those kind of points and you can usually win. Um, you not always going to win when it comes to carpet and things like that. So, um, uh, but that was a, a very expensive wooden floor and it's one thing where you can have carpet on one side and you can probably try to argue that point but I don't think you're going to win that one but you definitely will win with the wooden floor you just have to push it a little bit understand water follows uh, goes goes from the top down and follows level 